There's actually, a, we, we got probably more questions on this topic than any other, and it has to do with uh, accountability uh, and impeachment. And impeachment not so much for removal from office, but impeachment as a means of, of exposing uh, the crimes and abuses of our Constitution by this administration, um, so that moving forward, uh, we prevent it from happening again. I wonder if you either of you could comment. Yeah, I'll take the civilian point of view of that, uh, although Scott is, but... Um, for now. For now, right. <laughs> My citizenship could be revoked. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't think George Bush, well, it doesn't matter what I think, George Bush would not be removed from office. I think impeachment is absolutely necessary in order to have a record so that it becomes clear to Americans and to people around the world that we are in fact a nation of laws. Either we are or we aren't. But if we claim we are... If we make that claim, then I think Nancy Pelosi ought to get the hell out of the way and let the Constitution work. That's all. When, uh, when I heard, when I finally heard that people like uh, uh, Pelosi or, or, or Charles Rangel or, or some of these key Democrats in the House had decided that impeachment was not going to happen, um, that, that really was a crushing blow to me. One of the reasons that Air America was put together was to try to have some kind of an influence on the 06 elections. Um, that was not its sole reason, but that was one of the goals, was to get some voices out there that would, that would balance out or offset this right-wing lie machine uh, that, ha that has been so effective since, uh, since the early 90s in, in radio. And I can remember doing what I could and really being dedicated to the idea of getting anti-war, um, uh, pro-impeachment Democrats elected. So they come up with a very slim ma majority, but so what? I I'm not looking for Bush to be removed from office. There's not enough time. But the impeachment, you know, the, in, in a trial in the Senate is not, what does it take? It's got two thirds of the senators. That's 67 senators have to vote to remove him from office. That's not gonna happen. But the impeachment hearings that could be conducted before uh, the House Judiciary Committee. So there is a record. And so that people will understand that we're a nation of laws if, if we follow the impeachment process required by the Constitution and there is no conviction in the Senate, so what? I mean, that is following the Constitution also. The Constitution says, here's how you remove a, a, a president the high crimes and misdemeanors. Here's the process you have to go through to prevent that process. And it is the Democrats who are preventing it. Uh, the impeachment hearings is, is in itself, as far as I'm con concerned, a separate crime. Bye, bye.